We're taking a walk this morning to our local market, which is where we buy our fresh fruit every day so that we can have our homemade smoothie bowls um, that actually save us £200 per month for our family breakfasts in Bali. So come with me for our little walk. It's really hard. Um, it's really hard in Bali walking anywhere, to be honest with you. Um, the streets are very skinny. There are no footpaths. So it makes uh, traveling around with kids very, very difficult. Um, but we need to get our steps in every day and we're And we're quite lucky that we live in um, a neighborhood where we can actually just walk out like this. Um, not all of Bali is like that. And as you can see, up ahead, Sai's already gone far ahead. This is what he does. He just walks off and leaves us. It's really nice when we're on our walk to the um, local market that we can cut through this little quiet space. It's a gorgeous field that is full of cows. I don't know if you can see the cows over there. Um, obviously loads and loads of animal noises, but it's really nice to be able to come and cut through somewhere like this because walking anywhere in Bali is really, really difficult, especially with kids. Um, just the main roads are so busy, the side streets you can't even walk on just because they're so skinny, broken, you know, um, causing an ankle injury. So walking through here is actually really, really nice and really, really welcome. So yeah, we're quite lucky that this is our neighborhood. morning market run Ooh, very very hot now nice to be off the main road again back onto our lane which is really nice hey so i hope you enjoyed our trip to the market this morning and um, picked up our dragon fruits for breakfast smoothie bowls etc uh also picked up uh papaya and um, you can save a load of money shopping like a local and uh, shopping at a local market 
For example, um, I think we paid, what did we pay today? Uh, we bought four dragon fruit and we paid about 60p per dragon fruit. I mean, that's just unheard of. Like in the UK, I think the dragon fruit is going to cost you about four quid each. Um, I'll put all the prices up in Aussie dollars, US dollars and euros just so you can see uh, what sort of savings you can make. Um, when we do, we're a bit lazy sometimes and we will just go to the supermarket and pick up our morning fruit and the prices are double, at least double, if not triple. So um, as a comparison, I'll pop those up on the side just to see what you can actually save. So let me know if you like this video, if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, uh, if you want to do price comparisons, if you want to know anything, just ask. Um, obviously I'm doing these videos for people, not for myself. So just let me know in the comments what you want to see. The bike, what you want to know, etc. And I will do my best to take you on this journey with me. Hey, so I hope you got a lot from this video. I hope it showed you how to live quite cheaply in Bali uh, as a family of four. You don't need to eat out every meal, breakfast, lunch, and evening. Just, you know, make your food at home in the morning, make your food at home for an afternoon, and treat yourself for the, for the evening meal. We do all our shopping at a local market, just purely to save money. We get the freshest ingredients, um, and it's so good now that we even do this on holiday. Um, and it's just really good. So I hope the video's inspired you. If it has, and if you've got a lot from it, give me a like. Uh, help the algorithm find me and send me out to other people. Also, give me a little subscribe as well. I'd really appreciate it. See you next time.